Hey YouTube, what's going on? Hey, a little walk and talk. Uh, hope y'all are having a great day. This channel is called There Has To Be Something More. And I am your humble host, Scott Moore. I am right here in the middle of Matagalpa, Nicaragua. And just thought I'd take you on a, a bit of my day. Uh, so, uh, let's see, today was a gym day, and today was leg day, so uh, if you follow this channel before, you might know that uh, going into town is downhill, going home is a very steep uphill, so especially after leg day, it's not a lot of fun, but I thought I'd take you with me and do a quick walk and talk. Uh, just trying to get across the street here now without getting run over. So, anyway, uh, yeah, ran in, quick workout. Uh, I do something called hip training, which is high intensity training that I just absolutely love. Uh, you can tell I'm just totally soaked. Uh, but, so hip training is you either do hit or volume when you're in a gym. So volume is something kind of associated with the Arnold Schwarzenegger where you're doing two or three hours a day, six days a week, putting you know, 20, 24 hours in. Uh, high intensity training, uh, something most talked about by guys like the famous Mike Mincer and the six-time Mr. Olympia, Dorian Yates. Uh, but it is, it's go in there, you push every exercise to or past failure. So it's a much shorter workout and it's in super intense. So once you're done, like I'm supposed to take off 72 hours at this point, let your body recover. And uh, so anyway, that's what I've been doing. I really love it. When I was younger, we did more volume kind of stuff, but uh, absolutely love the high intensity training. But like today was leg day. And uh, let's see, let me give you a peek. That's where we're going. Straight up that hill right there. So let's see what else. Lydia is still in the US, depending on when you see this video. Supposed to find out in the next few days when she's coming back if that's going to be short time or if she may stay there for a little while. Uh, I guess the longest she'd be there is till maybe the end of November. Shortest she could be back next week. So um, she's enjoying spending some time with the with uh, Christina right now. So what else? Just saw. Uh, uh, interesting article in the Tico Times, which you'd be familiar with if you follow Costa Rica news at all, but they're reporting massive homicide rates. Uh, like they're on track to hit 900 homicides in Costa Rica, which is record setting. Uh, I don't know what the homicide rate is here in Nicaragua. I did a quick check and I came up with like, uh, I think somewhere around 380 is kind of typical for the last few years. Um, so yeah, it's just gone drastically up in our neighbor, Costa Rica. So again, it's tough for Costa Rica, it's a beautiful country, but it, you know, Lydia and I lived there before. It's to me, it's almost exactly like Nicaragua, uh, but at two or three times the cost. So, especially with this run up in homicides, it's hard to push Costa Rica, but hopefully they'll get it under control because tourism is big for them. Again, sorry for huffing and puffing, but that steep hill is, I'm already on the beginning of it. Um, life here in Nicaragua continues to be great. Where's it? We continue to Enjoy living here as usual. The only thing that really gets to us is the temperature. It's just a little too warm for us. 
Uh, so, uh, it's supposed to cool down in December or January, but we were also told it was supposed to cool down in June and July and August and September, and it hadn't cooled down. I mean, these days it's like 86, 87 for the high. And then usually we get a feels like temp of 90 or 91. Uh, so it's hot. I mean, uh, we sleep with air conditioning with the dogs because if we don't, they just won't sleep much and they'll just sit there and pant a lot during the night. To me, it's comfortable, but you know, they're both 16 years old, so uh, they don't do well in the heat. Um, oh, some exciting news. We are, we did get some good news about our upcoming move to Guatemala. So it looked like if we couldn't get the dogs on a plane, which we probably cannot get Roscoe on a plane, that, uh, that we are gonna have to go by van. And we were looking at a cost of around 3,500, which we weren't thrilled with, but we had like three people give us about the same cost. I think I'm just gonna stop here in the shade for a minute, set my bag down. Um, so that's kind of what we were looking at, uh, getting to Guatemala, to Shayla, and uh, in February. And Lydia's kind of even pushing the idea of maybe heading there in January, if it doesn't cool down here a little bit. But um, anyway, another a friend of ours here is getting ready to move there to Guatemala as well. She's been here for three years. And we had suggested she give uh, a guy that we know a call, and she did. And he gave her a really good price. I mean, to the point where we were like, wow, that's, that's pretty incredible. Now, his vehicle, he has two, but the ones that I know about would be a little small for us, but the price is so low, we could actually do two trips and still be way under that 3,500 amount. So anyway, we're really excited. Looks like uh, this way, if it works out right, which none of these plans ever <laughs> come out exactly like we expect, but if it works out right, we'll also be able to take all of our stuff with us. Beds, refrigerator, stove, microwave. Uh, probably sell the air conditioner because it's about 20 degrees cooler in Shayla, and I don't think we'll ever need it. Um, so, um, yeah, so we're really excited. Uh, found a, it probably is gonna run about two grand uh, for us to, to, uh, to get there and with all of our stuff, because most of the apartments there are, um, are unfurnished. So we'd have to sell all of our stuff at a pretty good discount that we just bought here seven and a half months ago. Then we'd have to buy all new stuff. So this way, we'll get there, get the dogs there, get all of our stuff there, and we can go for an unfurnished place, which will be uh, way cheaper. So we're excited. That was good news for us. So, um, you know, if you're, if you do, just out of curiosity, if anybody does know, like, uh, typical homicide annual rate for Nicaragua, just to compare it to like what's going on in Costa Rica, if you pop that in the comments down below, that'd be very interesting to me. Please take a minute to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll keep you updated as to what's going on here. But in the meantime, we're just, uh, you know, kind of enjoying our time here. You know, it's, uh, I've had a couple of friends and family ask me like, don't you get bored there? It's like, I'm, I'm busy all the time. So mornings are usually running around like crazy doing errands. Either, you know, a trip to the supermarket like this, uh, going to pay bills, because most of them can't be paid online. Uh, I don't know, just all kinds of stuff. Running to the ATM machine, and then running to the gym, and then, you know, we always, we're always walking, so getting in at least a, a couple miles, even on a slow day. 
and I know you'll laugh, but I do love to, I've always loved to get in a nap in this afternoon. So, you know, I'm usually, you know, popping on the air conditioning and uh, jumping in the nice air conditioned bedroom for a couple hours and going into some coma sleep. Uh, so, I don't know, by the time I get up from a nap and cook for the dogs and cook for myself and clean up, it's late in the afternoon already. Buenos dias. Como esta usted? Bien, gracias. So, oh, we're way up on the top of the, we're not on the top, but we're on the steep part now. You can start to see how steep it gets here. I'll turn around. So, we're heading up that way. And it's steep, especially when you've got like, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know how much it is, uh, 20 pounds of frozen chicken in my backpack. So uh, anyway, hope y'all are doing great. If you're sitting around, you're bored, you need an adventure, trying to, trying to retire a little early, get out of the rat race, just remember there has to be something more